Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have m square minus m cube equals to 80 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here the very first step we are going to do is uh, we write uh, this equation as m square minus m cubed equals to 80 and we break this 80 as 64 plus 16 we know that 64 plus 16 equals to 80 and now uh, we uh, rearrange this equation as m square minus m cubed equals to here you have 64 and we write the 64 as 4 cubed and we write the 16 as 4 square so in the next step uh, here uh, we move all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it is written as m square minus m cubed minus 4 cubed minus 4 square equals to 0. Because these two terms are positive in the right hand side when we move in the left hand side it will become negative. Okay. So after that here we make the pairs of uh, cubic term with cubic term and we make the pair of square term with the square term so that uh, after making these pair it is written as m square minus 4 square and here we take common minus from these two terms and it is written as uh, m cubed plus 4 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. So after this step here we need uh, two nice formulas the one is square identity and the other is a cubic identity uh, so here uh, first you know about the square identity uh, if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and the second is a cubic identity and we know that a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so uh, here we need these two formulas uh, to solve the above equation so uh, now we uh, write our uh, above equation as in this form so uh, first we use this square identity here and it is written as uh, m minus 4 times of m plus 4 minus we use the cubic formula here and it is written as m plus 4 times of m square minus uh, m into 4 plus 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0. So in the next step here we focus on this equation and you see that we have m plus 4 be the common term so we take common m plus 4 and its remaining terms are m minus 4 minus uh, here we take common m plus 4 and we get its remaining terms are m square minus 4 m plus 4 square and 4 square is equals to 16 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now in the next step uh, here uh, we need some simplifications and we rewrite this equation as m plus 4 into m minus 4 and we multiply this negative sign on all of these terms and it is written as minus m square plus 4m minus 16 equals to 0. So here we need a more simplifications and we write it as m plus 4 times of uh, uh, here you have m plus 4m it is equals to 5m and this is minus m square minus 4 minus 16 equals to minus 20 and this whole equation equals to 0. So in the next step uh, here we convert this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take m plus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we take 5m minus m square minus 20 equals to 0. So in the first case we easily get the value of m equals to minus 4. So this is the our first real solution. Uh, and now in order to find the other solutions we need to solve this quadratic equation. So here first we write this quadratic equation in standard form so that we multiplying 
on both of the sides by uh, minus 1. So when we multiply both of the sides by minus 1, so this equation is written as minus 5m plus m square plus 20 equals to 0. So we write this in standard form and we write it as m square minus 5m plus 20 equals to 0. Now uh, we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 5 and c equals to 20. So these are the coefficients of the above equation and now we write the quadratic formula. It is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute all the values of a, b and c in this formula. So first we put the value of b. So value of b is minus 5 plus minus square root of b square. So b is minus 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 20 and this whole divided by 2a and the value of a is 1. So here we need more simplifications and uh, here we write it as m equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 5 plus minus square root of minus 5 square equals to 25 and 4 times of 20 equals to 80 and this whole divided by 2 ones are 2 okay so after that uh, here we need uh, some simplification and we write this expression as 5 plus minus square root of 25 minus 80 is equals to minus 65 and this whole divided by 2. So after that here we focus on this radical term only and here we separate this radical sign on these two terms and we write it as 5 plus minus square root of 65 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So here uh, you know about the square root of minus 1 uh, and we know uh, this is square root of minus 1 is equals to iota. So we substitute minus 1 square root equals to iota and it is written as 5 plus minus square root of 65 into iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation uh, and in this question we have uh, uh, only one real solution uh, and uh, the real solution is uh, m is equals to minus 4. So m equals to minus 4 be the one real solution of this question uh, and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.